Hello, how are you? My name is Paris Putia and my joy is to make both men and women look and feel their best. I do videos about lifestyle, about skincare and all the above. And today, I'm not going to be doing this video alone. I'll be with Maria, my friend. And we're going to be discussing about a very, very good topic that I really like. And she's the one who's going to tell us the topic because she has to introduce herself fully. Mariam, would you be kind enough to introduce yourself to me? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Mara, aka Mariam the Chef, aka Mariam Kimberly. You can call me whatever you want, but as long as it's Maria, I'm the chef. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today's topic we're going to be talking about body shape, body weight, everything, anything that has to do with your body. You know, guys, I'm uh, those who watch me, those who follow me. You know that I am plus size and I have a lot to talk about in this topic. I like it. And that's why we are relaxed. Can you see? See this set. We are just, We're just two girls having a conversation, you know? Yeah. And hopefully, you will tell us at the end of this video if we did a good job. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Before we even start, subscribe and share this video with your friends if it makes sense to you. So, Maria. You said you are plus size. I personally, I would say I'm not, maybe I'm petite. I'm actually tiny. I'm petite. Most people, when they see me on video and then they see me on real life, they're like, wow, you're tiny. I'm only 5'2 <laughs> and I'm small. So it's what you call, even when I go shopping, I, I shop on the petite section. And you know, for the longest, I could get away with uh, children clothing up to size. Even today, there's some shoes I can buy on kids section yeah. up to size, yeah, up to age 16. There's some tops, some, yeah. in fact, like shorts. I find the shorts that fit me well from kids section. So that is why this topic is very interesting, you know? Yeah. So take it. Now, when you say you're plus size, what do you find that people of your size, because you know, let's start with body types. We have different kind of body types. Yeah. Right, with people who are what they call, um, are we good? We be sorry, I have to stop. We have people who they say apple shape, pear shape, our gross palantry is the perfect shape. shape our yeah. girls, where everybody thrives to have that, uh, Beyonce kind of shape, yeah. you know, and then this triangle shape I right hear. I mean, different people have different kind of shapes, some people have. Big bosoms, yeah. others have got big bottoms, yeah. others <laughs> has got thick legs, yeah. others is skinny legs, others have got broad shoulders, tiny shoulders, tiny hats, look at hands, tiny hats, tiny legs, and others has got all body even from here to bottom. It's either skinny, straight, or it's all plump. Yeah, from here, their face is plump, their bosom is everywhere is plump. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Then you find others with a big waistline. It's like really budging out, but then they have no thighs. Yeah. yeah. Yet, and then they have skinny legs and you know different kind of shape. Now, Mariam, what would you say? Now, you being a plus size, what are the things that you find that you struggle with or that you love? It's not everything. With me, it's not everything about me. I love everything about me. Yeah, there's a few things, maybe one or two, if I could change, I would. Yeah. But really, I've come to accept my yeah, what do you my mean? body the way. Yeah. But we'll be talking about that as we go. Yeah. So let's start with you. Um, you see, like what you say, uh, you you shop at kids. Uh, collection, you see, for me, I cannot do that. I cannot this a certain dress that I want to wear, but I won't wear it, especially in town, just because of my body and how I look. And there are some clothes, honestly, you see, you also, as much as the smaller you are, there are some clothes which you look nice on you, you cannot put on big baggy clothes and all that. For me, I'm big, so I choose what my body feels comfortable. And I also want to be smart. I also want to feel like a lady. But you see, people are as so I feel like especially men, mm -hmm. they sexualize <laughs> big women. You see, even if I put on a nice dress, they won't see that nice dress. They will just look at me. Bound, look at what are we talking about? What people watching? I want to see this body she's talking. Should she stand and show us? No, this one. But it's true. Should she stand and show us what she's talking about? Because I'm like, 
men sexual and I'm like okay what part of our body is men sexual I say can we start and show us the just part of I've, body I've been literally mm-hmm. before I came ah oh, very you know when she's sitting down you see nothing <laughs> she looks so tiny you're like <laughs> what the heck is she talking about men on my way here yeah, yeah. As I was getting into the matafu, yeah. the, the conductors, they yeah. were all standing there and they were literally sexualizing me. Wow. I know, I had to speak for myself because apparently that's the one they're doing. So I had to speak to, for myself and I'm like, stop sexualizing women. How do you, I how just, does it make you feel? I feel so uncomfortable. Imagine I cannot walk downtown by myself. Just, I just have that trauma that someone is going to do you remember that time people were doing a campaign by just in choice? Yes. I, I just have that trauma that someone is going to tear my clothes just because of maybe how I look or maybe how my breast you know. It's very sometimes it's No, it's here's a question I have for you. Is this very interesting? Don't you guys think this is very interesting? Don't we have women who are paying a lot of bucks, a lot of men to look like that? I know, I know. I know, like this is just what I don't understand. And here you are, you're saying it actually bothers you. It's funny. It's, it's very good. This thing, it hasn't even started yet. Me, I've never been small. Don't know me. My whole childhood, I've always been this <laughs> You see, and some people, when they see my childhood photos, they were like, hey, will you come condom? No, I wasn't. And I, at that time, I was still being bullied. All the men, Things that I cannot even say in, on camera that I'm not ready to say yet. Other men sexualizing me yet I'm still a baby, you see. Because I was I've always been this like I've always been this big. I've always been a boss. <laughs> when you <laughs> were really ever, ever since I was a baby, like, this is literally my mom's body. Ah. It's in our family, the mom's side of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Literally for me. Yeah. Just me. I have a big bum. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. So, uh, the way people are sexualizing me, I used to be bullied. I remember, you know, when you have a little thing, it's the little thing. When you're having, when you're a kid and you have that childhood for boyfriend, and is it weird that my childhood boyfriend was ashamed of me because of my mood? How now? I know. He didn't want me to be, we, we were never seen in the picture. Are you serious? But in school, I he didn't want people to know because me. of your big bottom. Yeah, big even butt. even my own people. like people from see me. I was also foster, and people who foster me like some of them they just speak without knowing that can or no. I'm a oh I'm a a boom, 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 boom. and then you say oh, I mean I'm short, so they used to call me a <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're like as much as Big people, that's why you, you find big people they have big hearts because we take in so much. You, you're not serious. We take in so you much. mean this thing that we say, oh, big people, I would, even both men and women, I find like a big country teddy bear. They are forever happy, smiling. Yeah. They, they are warm. You mean that one is, you, you mean you're trying to cover something? Yeah, because. Even in town when I'm walking, you'll find people calling me and I'm not and I'm like Are you serious? As much as I'm not I'm not that big and it's not like I'm complaining both my body. Yeah, there are some things I would love to change but I can't change. It's my body, I will create it like this, I will live like this forever. But by the end of the day, people calling me Ama, those comments when you go to someone, when you haven't met someone for a long time, you just don't know what someone is fighting. You're telling me, let's go, my mama, hang on, my mama, don't tell me that. I've been fighting my body for the longest time. So when you come and tell me, hey, my mama, now maybe that day I was putting on a dress and then I didn't, I didn't like the way it was, it, it was fitting me here, or I didn't like the way my thighs look. And then when you come to meet, your first, the, the first thing you're telling me, hang on, my mama, so it make you feel bad. Of course, it will make you feel bad because you're a big person. In some some people, like not all big people, will love who they are for who they are. Not even small people. There are some people who don't like being petite. You see, but by the end of the day, you just don't know how that person has been fighting that thought 
or her telling herself umenoma ama umekonda to see the power of words exactly but so now it's very interesting i mean you're too young when i compare you and me i am like your mom so i'm thinking at this young age uh where kids are even becoming um they are obsessed with this certain look of way yeah. i must look at a certain way i must behave a certain way now does your weight seem to bother you for that well I think I they want their honest yes. answer. And I can't say no. Yeah. That's the thing. Because there are some days I'll just look at myself and I'll be like, oh, I'm thick, I love the way I look, I love my hips, I love my ass, I love my former. And then there are days I just go on with my hips. Because I, I'm like, why do I have thick thighs? Why do I have this baby honey? And you see some people will be like, oh, you just work out to food. That's what is doing for the rest of my life. But this is my genetic. This is also genetic. This is my genetic. I cannot change it. I don't think what you're saying about it age and everything. People will be like, how old are you? And then each other will be like, hey, and I will be like, wow, you're like, wow, like on your face? Wow. Yeah. How does that make you feel when someone says that? Honestly, what I think of is like the fact that you're tiny and baby doesn't mean you're going to eat a bowl of salad and look small. No, I'm just going to eat whatever I want to eat and I'll still look good by the end of the day. But don't tell people. That's all I can say. Not everyone as strong. Okay, I understand. And that's why people, you have to be very careful. I know. I've had people actually have been in a meeting. When we were meeting a few women and men and women, women talked talk, talk, mm -hmm. a lot of blah, 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 blah. And so one of us came in and she gained a little bit of weight uh, in her middle section. And the other one was quick to say, wow, you're pregnant again? The nerve. And then the lady was like, I'm not pregnant, I'm not darling. Pregnant. Uh, I just had a baby. I mean, my baby is one year old. What makes you think I'm pregnant again? So I think people need to be uh, a bit careful of the words. You know, don't if you have nothing better to say about somebody's body shape or how they look, please just don't say nothing. Just tell them. See, that says that you look nice. You know, because to me, I feel uh, number one, Hollywood had made everybody. They've made everybody think that. The skinnier you are, or rather the one yeah. called hourglass. That's the you know. Now people are going under the knife just to achieve that shape, just to oh, I want to have, but just you know, just enough on the thighs, just enough on the butt, just enough on the bust. Just you know, everything has to just be perfect. But the truth of the matter is, we have so many different kind of body shapes, and we can never look the same. Yeah. I think the most important thing is to accept that this is how this is my shape yeah this is my height because it also come to play the height the shape the skin color you know all these things come to play the hair the type of hair we have then decide to change what you think you want to change yeah. because you want to change it mm -hmm. how what do i mean by this if for example you want to exercise so that you can have that figure that is grass you know our grass figure fine if it's working for you if that is not what makes you happy. Stick to what makes you happy, and then learn to dress. I think a lot of people yeah, really is nice. they need to learn to dress according to their body shape mm. and according because now I'm sure the outfit that you're wearing today it looks so good on you. If I wear it, perhaps I won't look as good. And then I find with fashion now because everything now this year we have this trending. Uh, this is the thing that is uh, on top right now. Everybody's buying this and this and that. Now, for me, I, Paris Boothia, these fashions that come, whether you tell me it's a special thing or not, whether you tell me this one, if you wear it, gonna look like a million dollars, I just look at it and it. Because I know for a fact, if I wear it with my tiny petite body, it's not gonna look how when you wear it looks like you know or when somebody taller wear it looks yeah. like so i have learned to accept that this is the body god has given me what i'm gonna work so hard to do is to make it a healthy body mm -hmm. not a perfect body but a healthy body now the reason i say that is when it comes to health i will help you know because the weight 
the way to show you say that is your health it's genetic for you yeah. what people forget just because you're skinny doesn't make you healthy yeah and just because you have a big body now doesn't mean you're very unhealthy i think the most important thing is are you visiting your doctor once a year are you having your blood work done are you having you know are you having that conversation with your doctor that your organs are working the way they're supposed to your you know, your cholesterol level are normal are you having those conversations and then um you see for me i've always been thinking so I've known how to dress myself. Yes. Uh, I've also learned how to eat and what to eat and what to eat. Yes. Believe me when you say this, I'm not a fan of fries. I can't just wake up one day and eat fries today, tomorrow, mm-hmm. the other day. Why is not healthy? True. I'm not as much as I eat those things. I don't say I'm. I don't eat them. I do. We I'm do. also. <laughs> we all do. I'm. I'm also not a fan of fatty foods. I can, even if I'm not, I cannot eat food which is cooked too much for me because again, it's very true. It was. It won't be nice to me. It, it doesn't make me happy. So I don't eat fatty foods at the same time. I think I drink a lot of water. I just can't get out. You see, those are the kind of things that the one when you tell me, oh, don't go to each food, what do you do that? Each place, I do that. To do what? I do that. So, exercise, I, I try. try. I try. Keep trying. See, because I think you look beautiful. I think, to me, I think we need to learn, and women, we need to stop this. And men. To tell women that only when they look a certain way, then are they beautiful, mm-hmm. then are they appreciated, mm-hmm. then are they accepted in the society. Because I think that's the thing that is making a lot of us lose it. You find a woman who is dark skin, now think, because you see me and you now, we light skin people, right? I attend, there's a woman who will be not very light skin, maybe she's chocolate and everything, but now she's looking at uh, light skin people, oh my god, look at there, the people who are apparently are getting attention, so yeah. I need to lighten my, apparently I've heard that a lot, oh you light skin people, you don't yeah. understand, it. Linda is you get all the attention, we don't get nothing, if I walk in with you somewhere, the first person that people are going to look at is the light skin one before they look, I think that's just stereotyping. Imagine, because I almost forgot this. You see, how I came up, how I've been passing, is through promos. I've been doing a lot of promos. So I remember my first time going for a promo interview, uh, they had a dress. And the dress, they picked it, picked it up like this. And the dress was literally, it was a, I think, petite. Like no. me now, like a dress that so will fit you. Yes. Yeah. So this one, how they started? They started the same. If you, if you know you can't fit in this dress, if you know you can fit in this dress, move forward. Move, move forward. <laughs> so you can imagine them holding. So that's automatically me. I don't have a job, and I'm there. Wasted my money. Woke up very early. Got there on time. I didn't get a job quite because of my food time. Another thing I found also very weird. They say if you know you are light skin, come home. Wow. Yeah. And that is true. I won't like this. It, it's it's something that is in Kenya, we all know it. And nowadays people think because you have a big bow, you will get more. like you know, that's why we are today. I'm here thinking, okay. You know, to these days, I'm here in the street, all oh, everybody yeah. with big bodies now. Why is that? That's what's up these days. I am, when I'm walking with my husband, you see, for him, he's not as good. He, he is. is. He's, he's, yeah, he's an okay <laughs> sir. Yeah, I know your husband, so he's an okay yeah. sir. So yes. when I'm walking with him, people think, like, he's my brother. I'm a friend. Why? Because they want your husband yeah. to be bigger like you. Or I'm, what's the story? I'm a, you will find men telling him, hey, brother, I'm sour, I'm sour. Because of the way I look. Like, I don't understand how we got from being women, being very beautiful, like, you know, shape and color, color, color to now point. having this stereotyping of this is what we call a perfect woman. 
this kind of body. It's imagine I wake up in the morning and I don't like my butt. I wake up in the morning and I don't like This is my you, are you listening? You who is paying a lot of money? It's funny how that we do things because uh, we think that's what other people want us to look like or want to see. Then you do it, then you get you know, for example. Your husband, you see your husband, uh, he's a small person. I'm sure your husband married you because he loved the way you look. Yeah. He loved every part of you, the way you look and he feeling beautiful. Now there will be another man who will be like, I don't like this, I like a tall woman, yeah. you know, who is slender and everything. And that's okay. Yeah. Another one, I want a short, light skin, whatever, woman. I mean, everybody has what their eyes call beauty. That's why they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Because everybody look at someone and say, wow, our hearts are connected. I like how they look. And this is the person I'm going to commit to. However now, however, those who bring it, after they've been married, you know why I say this now, you're with your husband. He loved you the way he found you. But now, after a while, you may start saying, hmm, I don't like how I do. I don't think he likes my body anymore. My body is so big. Maybe now he wants. Uh, these days I see him looking at tiny women. No, I think he wants tiny women. You know, you see, that's the problem with women. Is it true or not true? true. Now, if I'm tiny like me, now my husband will pass you on the street. I can say, men are looking. Then he look, he goes, he goes, and I go, oh, I do want to remember you to be bad. No, no, no. Eyes have to see. I swear even yes. If a good looking man passed in front of me, even though I'm married for over 26 years, I'm going to notice that a good looking man who just passed in front of me. That doesn't mean I want to take him home. Yeah. That doesn't mean I want him. Thank I you. Mean, I, so stop judging yourself because now you're thinking today your husband wants you big, tomorrow he wants you skinny, tomorrow he wants you light skin, tomorrow he wants you. Now, how many times are you going to change yourself? <laughs> now, listen. If he loved you with a small bust, keep it. If he loved you with big bust, keep it. If he loved you with big bust, let it be big. Okay. If he loved you tiny, stay tiny if you are able to. The most important thing is self love. You can love yourself. Because let me tell you, changing your body for someone else, it's only going to be so good. Because that is fake life. You're living fake life. Please, if you change it because you want to change it. If you were big and now you want to be skinny for health and reason, because your doctor told you you must lose a certain amount of weight in order for you to continue living in this world, then hey, do it because you're doing it for health. If you're skinny and now for whatever this lifestyle have happened, maybe you know you forgot to say this. There are some people who have thyroid issues. That will make them sometimes gain weight in certain areas, yeah. and that's just because of their disease, right? Their issue and uh, medication, and their certain medication that has steroid in them that make people gain weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, different people have different issues be it healthy issues, be it hereditary genetics. So, you cannot sit there and say, I want to look like parents, I want to look exactly like how. And I, I am yeah. special. There's, there's only one Paris, there's only one man. So you can't be that. Please, people, let's stop this thing. Let's there stop is this. Um, people asking because of the name, they're asking me which of the And we think it's that that has made you gain weight? Yeah. Well, it does. It's a big Yeah. I'm, I'm that sure. is it. I don't know. You hate when people I, start doing so judgmental. I hate trying to justify my body. Maybe wow. I'm big because I eat too much. Maybe I'm big because I don't... You're using the long fabric branding. Maybe I'm big because I don't walk and I don't sleep. Yeah. Guys, I knew you were not here. I told people this to say, I, I walk myself out to the stairs. He doesn't carry you to the stairs. I do it myself. You know, I'm not a new place. We have to go and cut the other one. I do it myself. Meaning you're getting enough activity. See, this is your body. This is the body that God gave you. He, you know, we are all more than individual. You know, the body the same. We are wonderfully and fearfully made. You should get that wonderfully and fearfully made. 
So regardless of whether you are one that you will appear to be male, big, bad or small, or you don't have bad at all, or you have no hips, you have no thighs, they are flat, or you have these bitches, or you have nothing, you are saying, eh. Listen, the most important thing, guys, I swear, the day you learn, seriously, I'm a woman, I've suffered all this insecurity. Listen, I'm a short woman married to a tall guy. Do you know? Now, let me tell you, you are talking about whatever. Do you know me for the longest? On my 20s, Ooh, I was this woman who you find in supermarket with a trolley full of things with him walking like this. I'm tired. I'm walking with him because I always I had this notion in my stupid little brain telling me I should always be close to my husband. I should be his height because he's tall. He want me to be tall. So when I'm with him in public, I should wear him. So whenever we went, whether it's supermarket, whether we are walking, I would wear wedges. I would always be on the heels to be close to my husband. How stupid. But wisdom, with age come wisdom and grace of life. Now, I realize because my husband, he'll be the one who can buy me sneakers. I'm like, I don't like sneakers. He goes, what do you mean you don't like sneakers? We cannot be traveling with you not wearing sneakers. And he's like, it's okay, I'm comfortable with just wearing a little. Okay, then he started buying the then got to, I think his Nike who first came with it, or whoever came up with that. Wages that were sneakers, sneakers that were wages. So he bought me like five pairs. So he's like, okay, you like sneakers with it? I'm gonna buy you every color so you can be comfortable. Then as I'm getting what I said, come to think about it, this man, when he first saw me, I was sharp. I was on mm -hmm. 20s, you don't care. At 20s, you're always in your flats, you're always comfortable, you're always yourself. So he looked at me and said, this guy is a little thing. I love it just the way it is. And it's the person I want to make my wife. There were so many tall women, yeah. big women, he could have chosen and said, hey, this one is of my height, I want this one. Yeah. And he chose me. But you see, the devil is the liar. He played with your freaking mind. You, God has already blessed you with someone who loves you for you. But now you, you are trying to tell yourself, hey, hey, I think you're right. So, so I'm going to do, I need to punish myself. I got me some bunions, some thorns, just because of I had to be. You know, these days I've learned to accept myself. I don't care what you think. In fact, most people who are used to seeing me with kids, when they come to my house or when we, you know, I wear flats, they need to be like, oh my god, you're very short. I can yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me. I've always bought height. I always wear heels to make me look as certain wigs and love things. But then I came to realize I didn't only love things. I was doing it to try and hide my height. You know, just so that people can think I am tall. But now, I don't care what you think. This is me, this is berries, it's a happy berries. I like to, I shop in baby, you know, like I said, children clothing, which save me money sometimes because it's cheaper. And yeah. it's bad. And because I'm an adult wearing children clothing line, you don't get it in adult places. So when I go somewhere, I'm wearing a legal outfit as an adult because it's a children outfit. So I think that's what we need to realize that uh, each of the biggest end. Because I also, I don't know, as I get older, I've looked at my friends, I've looked at, uh, not my friends, women in general, and because I do skincare also, and I look at skin, I tend to uh, meet with a lot of men and women. And I've come to realize women, we are each other the biggest thing. A lot of women are doing things, they're changing themselves, not for men. I used to think it's for men. I used to think people are changing how they look. People are dressing uh, the way they dress because of, you know, they want to impress the opposite sex. It turned out that women actually dress for other women. Women do makeup for other women. Women change hairs for other women. Women change their body for other women. Why? Because we are like competing. Oh, the piano, squeezy. I looked at them, my friend now, uh, they're looking, they've lost weight. Now I want to lose weight too. You don't even consider whether you look good having lost weight or you look good the way you are as a thick girl. No, you, you are so screwed up. You just want to look like your friend. 
oh, my friend, these days she's wearing tight, tight, tight dresses or tight, tight pants. Now I'm going to start wearing tight, tight pants to look like my friend. Now considering your body type, maybe I can get away with wearing tights, can you? And then I hate these women who come and tell me, oh, if it was me, I wouldn't wear that top. It doesn't look good and, oh my God, that top at your age? Now friend, shut up. Maybe you tried it, it didn't look good on you. Yeah. Maybe it is not meant for your body type. And now you're bringing your salty, salty mouth all over my face next. If I want to dress a certain way, it's because I feel comfortable, confident in that dress, yeah. in that pants, in that. It is none of your business. But we women, we feel like we must. We must not see ourselves in every room. You know, oh, now if I look at you and say, Miriam, mm, if I was you, that top, that dress, mm -mm. for your weight, mm -mm. I wouldn't wear it now. Maybe I'm just jealous. Maybe I can do it on that. So you can on that pretty. Just because you look good on something, I will tell you, uh, you, you, you know, you shouldn't have put that yeah. in. You don't look, and I am jealous. I'm envying how you look, and I wish I could wear that dress and look that good. I wish I could get away with that look. But because now me, my body type does not allow me to show my belly, I must cover my belly. Now, every other woman should cover their belly, God forbid. Now, because me, my shoulders uh, don't allow me to wear, for example, what I'm wearing right now, now every other woman should be wearing tattoo leg because me, I'm wearing tattoo leg. Because my skinny legs, like my equally skinny legs, doesn't allow me to wear a mini skirt all the time, now every woman should be wearing pants. I just realize women, we are each other worse than enemy. We judge, we're so judgmental, we criticize, we talk about each other behind us. Oh, did you see how she was dressed? Oh my God, you, would you leave your house dressed like that? You know, how do we take, why is it our business? If the woman is happy, leave the girlfriend alone, that girl do her own. You mind your own business, mind your body. Think about how your husband wants you to look, how your boyfriend wants you to look, how you want you to look. Think about your happiness. Leave other people's happiness alone. I mean, I let you know because if I continue you talking, I get so passionate about this thing. I get so passionate. Okay, um, there's also this thing called, let me go back to that. So this day, I mean, I don't want to mention it. But yes, someone yes. was like, Mother, I can't put you in a job. I can't put you in a job. But I don't want you to go into the dating. Those women. What? The reasons was one, and two, and two. Wow. Which, in later on, I was like, So that means, after ever, so you do not intimidate. Did a man say that the woman said that? A man said that. And another thing, I'm like, first of all, if I'm coming to work and I'm working for you, it is me not to work But not my face, not my working So bring the matter that you've got to yeah, do the job that you're given to And me, when it comes to my job, I cook, that's what I do, that's what I say, like, that's my best. So, have you given me something to sell and have it? No? Have you given me something to cook and give me a chance? No? So why should I, why should you tell me I'm good at how you look, that's why I can't do it. Another thing, um, that thing of, um, I just wanted to tell people there's a lot of negativity mm -hmm. and there's also a lot of positive mm -hmm. things to be class side. Okay. And I choose to go on the positive side. On the positive side, side. On the positive side yeah. Because when you tell me that you can't give me much job because of the problem, I, I can't choose it. Because by then, by then, the day people find themselves 
getting into eating so because someone ah, has to a certain way. Now for you, if you were that stupid, you would have gone home and start putting fingers in your mouth after eating, so yeah. you can keep thinking. If you lose weight, you're going to get that job. And you see, it starts. It, it starts with something like that, and then you think it's a sickness, and it's a gambling sickness. Bad sickness because the only cure is there is you have some people who don't. They have to find the cure for this. You see, and for me, I choose to go on the positive side because honestly, I just think. I'm, I'm really yeah. struggling with this because that's somebody who told you the thing to do because of you. But at the same time, we find things like bar, you know, less one. They actually hire women because of how they look again. It's, it's like, oh, we want that body. So that when men are drinking, when she pass there, they look at it. And actually, they... me have been denied so many jobs because of how I look. One, someone told me, uh, I wanted to travel, right? And then someone was like, when you go out there, they don't want to pay for each job you do. And th this is someone who is very close to me. You see, when they are talking in that perspective, they don't show that. I'm like, oh, check out I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be a pair of steps. And someone told me, when you're poopy, you're really going. Mm. I remember that was the first day they visited. That was very true. I've never seen a, a, a short. Blunt is true, so they are stereotyping also when they are hiring. Exactly. Exactly. So that dream that was the much as gone. it was my first time stepping into the airport, like in an airport, and I've seen these beautiful ladies, and they look so nice and they look so pretty. You see, by that time, I'm still at the key, yeah. and I don't want to be like them. Yeah, so when I was asked, Do you want to be a kid? I want to be like them, mm. and someone was like. Well, look at your body type. Mm -hmm. That's not for your girlfriend. I wanted to travel, and then someone was actually this person was telling me you can't find. Uh, when you want to travel, they can't hire you for, let's say, a uh, hostess or what do you call this? Waitress. Waitress, yeah. Butter yeah. day. Whatever right? they call them. Yes, because I'm big. So if I do, I might move in. Yeah, you're not too accurate. Are you still lying? Okay, the dishes that's not to be seen. Yeah, yeah. I'm not making this. As you would go knocking things. Yeah, with your butt. Yes, I'm big, so they can't find a job. Look at me. I can't be a watch. I I can't be a security person because I'm big. Another thing, I can't be. What was the other one? I can't be. I think it was. I'm not sure. Hey, what is this opinion? Because be I'll be sitting the whole time, so I'm encouraging. Listen, me, yes. why are you sitting? What is your behind got to do with you will be sitting all the time? I, that's I, a, I'm acting like you don't have brain. But it is what it is, and that's the truth. And as in being stereotyped with big people with big ones is so, so, so real. Like, it's very, very real. Me when I'm when I'm in when I'm, when I'm getting into the matter, I can when I'm sitting there at the driver's seat, I cannot sit next to the driver just because I'm insecure of my size. And this is something it's true. Ah. Because I'm insecure, maybe the driver will not change the gear and the whole time will be touching you. Yeah. And I'm not I don't think so. people will be like, why don't you just take a photo? Why don't you just buy a car? As much as I want to get there, I I'm not I'm not yet there, I'm getting there. So I'm just trusting the person of who I am. There's nothing else. So it does not mean that people are saying if you have a big butt, you should only be driving. You should I be like having it. your own car and you should be self-employed so that you don't have a good look for job. That's really I've seen people also go the shame. They go the shame. As much as you may say, oh, this person is looking very nice and all that. But at the same time, they're forgetting the that how I do pay that you will be shaming me. Ah, you say good looking, but there's also something you say that is also not very nice. And then you say women, so fancy. Women, we are our own enemy, which is true. Me, I don't know, but I can me. I also I I tell this to my husband, and I also tell when I get back and when I get back home, and I feel like. That someone brings you everything because of how you look, 
I always recommend to the women. They don't remain like I'm sorry. I won't apply it to your face, but I'm saying it to him or someone mm. else because I'm like, I'm sorry, this is how I look. Like true story. So I was delivering something to a client. When we were sick on the phone, we were very afraid. But when we met, she was mad. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm so lucky. So the food okay to go down there. Later found out that this person they was they go I I am not looking I'm not looking, okay, I'm not looking good like I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know what they didn't expect me to look like so they they okay now I'm confused did they like it did they hate it they didn't or did they feel it but at least I found out way later yeah they didn't like it way and to me I'm like so what is God I'm really confused. What is it got to do with your cooking? Because if you deliver good I'm, food, so what I order I have a stereotype, I'm light skinned and I have a big heart. No, okay. I can still cook. I can still oh, so, so you come out like your brain is empty. Like yeah. you're just dada. You know, you're yeah. like empty head. Like yes. this guy is just beautiful. She's got a beautiful <laughs> face. Beautiful butt, beautiful everything. She's brain dead. I'm she sorry. I'm sorry That's for your thing. It's good. I know. I'm really sorry. But in real sense, I've got scared with love story because I look good and I love it and I enjoy it. And there are so many people out there who are giving us this positivity. Like this, this person that I actually follow, her name is, I think, she, she is something. Whatever her name is. Yeah. So she, Sophisticated show, okay. Oh, but she gives me like, I'm like, yeah, do you? That's nice. I think there's someone who's posting in a bikini, yet even Lizzo from America, she's posting in a bikini, and people be like, ah, no, 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 that's what I was saying. At the end of the day, uh, if we only can accept ourselves the way we look and appreciate how we look and appreciate other women and men how they look and how they feel, because there's also men who are insecure of how they look, yeah? yeah. And they get also body shame for how mm -hmm. they look. But I think this world would be a better place. Mm -hmm. And the day we start putting people in a what is it like in a lot like if you, yeah it's cut, exactly if yeah. you look like this and you look like this we consider you beautiful if you look like this and you look like this we consider you not beautiful if you look this we consider you sexual if you look like this answer i mean because at the end of the day like i said when we started and i'm going to finish with that that beauty is in the eyes of beholder allow people to be themselves stop being judgmental if you like to wear clothes that cover you from head to toe that's good do you mm -hmm. but leave alone those people who feel like they have a body shape that can allow them to show their figure leave them alone let them and if somebody is big and you think you're skinny good for you you've been working out you've been going to gym you've been lifting weight and you look marvelous stop judging those who have a little bit of meat Stop judging them, let them live their life. So long as they are healthy and they are happy with their body type, they are happy with their life, who are you to judge them? Let's stop being each other. And I mean, and especially women, I'm going to keep on saying this because we need to really be each other keeper and we need to uplift each other as opposed to suppressing and oppressing others, right? It has been interesting. I hope you know you have enjoyed this session. Me too. And I hope if you're seated there and you have been body shamed, you've seen we've all been body shamed yeah. because of something we have all we don't have. And we all have our own insecurity, but we yeah. learn to deal with them and yeah. accept it that this is who God wanted us to be. We are, you know, like I said, we are beautiful, wonderfully and fearfully mm -hmm. made. So if we accept that fact, we will have a happy life and a full life. Don't care about what people do. Don't care about what people think. Just do you and do you good. Remember to hit that button, subscribe, subscribe.
Sub subscribe, sub subscribe. Have you done it? And also, Mariam has a channel too. She has a YouTube channel. She does cooking and other things. Yeah. You can also subscribe to her channel. Please support the girl. We support each other. We appreciate you. We appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. We're going to put all our details down there. They will be there on the bottom. Subscribe, follow us on Instagram, please. And just like and share.